cheers to ice cream. To ice cream. Oh, man. Oh, oh. All right, here's the thing. We always get asked the question, where is, we need to get ice cream because it's summer and it's hot. So where do we go to get ice cream? Well, this is a very important topic. It is. Because if you get the wrong ice cream, you're just straight up not having a good time, you're gonna have a bad yep. life. Yep. The rest of your day is gonna go bad and then you might as well just, you know. Stay at home Stay at and home. eat a tub of ice cream. So yeah. we are going to take you, we're gonna be taking you around town today and we're gonna be doing this circuit. It's gonna be painful. Ice cream circuit. The ice cream circuit, it's gonna be painful, but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be awesome. It's Kyle, Chris, Sam, and Francis. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna be showing you really the, just the top the top dogs yes. in the ice cream space. Yes. And we're starting here at BJ's. I just love how it's like all over your fingers now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is y'all. <awesome. laughs> all right, so Francis, tell me about what you're eating. Okay, so it's strawberry shortcake. So you've got like kind of a cakey a cakey thing going on down here. And then you've got... Totally what I, I don't know. They're short here. It's not like fresh strawberries, but they're, you know, they're in, they're like marinated strawberries or something. And then vanilla ice cream with a glob of whipped cream on top. That is a chunk. It's really freaking good. <laughs> like, I'm not normally a Sunday guy. Truth be told, like, I'm not the biggest ice cream dude. There's a place in Colorado Springs that changed my mind about that. And we're gonna we're gonna be hitting that later, so definitely stay tuned. But I'm gonna give this, are we doing ratings yet? Yeah, give, sure. give yeah. it a rating, give rating. it a rating. I'm gonna give it, like for a Sunday, I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10. This thing is awesome. And there's more, there's more goodness down here. Hold on, what is it? It's almost like a, is it cream cheese? I doubt that very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I no, it's just vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Chris, what are you eating? All right, so this is BJ's Peanut Delight. Now, I'm not the biggest ice cream person either, but I do, this is sad, usually I get Dairy Queen if I get ice cream somewhere. This is similar to the Peanut Buster Parfait at Dairy Queen. And I gotta say, mm. it pretty much tastes exactly like Dairy Queen, in my opinion. It's not bad, it's just, it's soft serve ice cream. It's a classic. Soft serve, hot fudge, peanuts, whipped cream. I don't really know what else you need, man. Yeah. Solid. Rating? Oh, rating. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna, I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven, yeah. Okay. It's a safe number. It's, it's a safe, safe number, number. yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. your oh. classic vanilla soft serve. I'm gonna be the uh, control group at each location today, uh, trying out all the different vanillas. And let's be honest, Kyle doesn't know anything about ice cream, okay? Um, so no matter what he says about how boring vanilla is, it's so vanilla. vanilla. <laughs> it's like, who has the best water? <laughs> I feel like ice cream places should be judged off of how good their plainest ice cream is. Mm, okay. Okay. So, so true plain, plain ice cream is really good. Yeah. Not all the fluff and fanciness, just That's right. quality of the If ice the cream. ice cream can stand alone, okay. right, you're so let's pretty see good. About this one. Right, so this vanilla, I would give this a solid seven out of ten. Creamy? Seven and a half out of ten. Creamy, sweet. classic soft serve. Just sweet, sweet but not too sweet. Enough vanilla. It's not like you're just eating ice chips. You know? <laughs> you some of those places, man. I know, man. I know. So it's good. It's really good. This is this is their Boston shake, which is it's a shake on the bottom and a sundae on the top. Mm, and you can mix it up. And so I said, like, make it wild. Because, you know, might as well start getting sick here. early in right, the day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got an Oreo marshmallow shake on the bottom and then a vanilla cookie dough cream sundae. My wow. diabetes just kicked in there a little bit. Bro, I know. We're going to have to go do, we're gonna have to go do arms after this. Oh, look at that. Back to the gym. The melt is dripping all over me. Oh, my God. cookie stuff on top. It's cookie dough. Yeah, it's a cookie dough. All right. So I'm a sucker for cookie dough. Ooh. You? Bro. Cookie dough? That's good. No. There we go. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost shaved my beard today. I mean, just trimmed it. Oh, okay. But I was like, I'm eating ice cream. It's going to be a mess. Get it. Let's let's get wild. So, anybody want to try? Hello? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's a lot of cookie dough in there, man. Okay. No, that's a great point. Mm -hmm. It makes... Do I still have stuff all over my face and my hands? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm credible. <laughs> uh, what I like so far... Actually, it tastes really good. It's super creamy. Mm, creamy. Is that... Uh, Exactly what you said. There's a lot of like the the toppings that it's are in there. Yeah. yeah, like I feel like you go to so many places and it's like I got this like freezy the other day with Oreos in it after we climbed a mountain, and I was like there was there was not even a single chunk of Oreo is blended right, yeah, so yeah. much. I was yeah, like, sweet. What, what is even the purpose of this? Let's give me ice but, cream. No, this is dope, and this is that uh, shortcake one. Yeah, strawberry shortcake. Yeah. You know what I like the most so far about all these? And this is not gonna be a single day. All of this right here less than $20. Yeah. Wow. Like, we're going to go to places later today, oh, yeah. have some yeah. freaking killer ice cream, but you're going to pay almost 20 bucks for one ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So That's what it feels like. BJ's, 20 bucks for four solid, solid ice cream. So it's like mid-July right now. It's been interesting because it's been a pretty dry summer. Yeah, it's right? super dry. Yeah, it's super been really dry. dry. Yeah. And yeah, it's funny because like in all of our other videos, uh, we basically lose all credibility because we're like, yeah, it doesn't get that hot here. And it has been so hot this summer. This is a, a nice time for us to choose to do the ice cream it tour, is, yeah, for sure. Yeah. BJ's Velvet, Velvet, Velvet Freeze. Freeze, without an E. Classic, classic little family spot over here. Get your burgers, ice cream, delicious. Dude, this one's yeah. good. See the So we just left BJ's. When you're talking soft serve, that is some good soft serve ice cream. Yeah, but we are here at Josh and John's at downtown Colorado Springs. Three locations in town, but we're at the downtown location right on Tejon at Boulder. Yep. Yes, Tejon and Boulder. So this is not soft serve. No. This is some, I call it kind of homemade, gourmet, dense, good ice yeah. cream. Yeah. It's to different. Me, totally it's, different. It's like craft ice cream. I know everything in Colorado is like, it's, it's got to be craft. It's, craft. Man. it's like craft ice cream. Kind of reminds me of like New England, like sitting by the lake, like yeah. getting some delicious ice cream. I love Josh and John's. Like such a staple, like a historic, iconic staple here. Been here established 1986. A lot of yeah. people don't realize that even, I'm not gonna lie, even I didn't realize it's been around that long. So yeah. been here a long time. Kyle and Francis are already inside. Francis probably eating half the ice cream yeah. already. So let's get in and try some. Yep. <laughs> so this is the, what is this? Cookie butter crumble. This is the cookie butter crumble? Cookie butter What'd crumble, dairy free. Dairy -free. And, and the waffle cones, oh, yeah, I don't know if we yeah. talked about this yet. The waffle cones, homemade, you're, they you're make right. them just for oh. the store. Oh yeah. These homemade cones, I'm not kidding, are incredible. And if you eat it with a spoon, like Francis and Chris are doing, you're wrong. That's dumb, don't do it. You just you just take bites out of it, which I'll do in a second, but I gotta talk first about what I got. We got mousse on the loose up top. Mousse on the loose is a chocolate mousse with brownies and caramel. Like, let, screw it, give me type two. Let's go, baby. And then on the bottom, we got malted mazel tov, which is like a malt-based ice cream. And she said it's got toffee candies and chocolate chips in it. Bro. And this is the proper way to eat ice cream out of a cone. You have the cone, and you bite it. You know what, goodness, I'm telling you, the cone, like the ice cream by itself, good. We got over here, like you can come here and you can just buy like little half pints. Um, in this one, they've got the full pints, right? And like, we do this all the time. Me and my wife, we do ice cream every Sunday night. <laughs> That's like our big treat for the week. We'll uh, eat ice cream and watch movies. Well, TV show. And then, um, but like it's good like this. It is. But it's when you put it in the cone, it is a whole new level. Like it, I don't know how, but like, and all their flavors, it like just enhances the flavors. It's got like a little cinnamony. Did he tell you the recipe? He didn't tell me the recipe. He's probably keeping it a secret. But it's got like a little cinnamony base almost. Oh, it's so good. So, Purple Mountain Majesty. So it's taro. 
And it's like it's like it's a root, I think. And if you go to like bubble tea places, you can get like a taro bubble tea. And so that's where I like heard about it originally, and then I saw that they had it here. So I tried it like three years ago, and I've had I've had like a handful of other flavors, but this is the one I constantly go back to. It's like creamy. It's got the little raspberry cups in there, which just like adds a little bit of the fruitiness that I really like in ice cream. And it's just it's the freaking best. It's literally I know I said this earlier. Um, I'm not the biggest ice cream guy. This is the ice cream that has completely changed me. I will come here in the dead of winter when it's snowing outside and still get this Purple Mountain Majesty because it's just so dang good. I've literally never had another ice cream like it. If I was to rate it, it's honestly like a 12 out of 10. Literally the best ice cream I've ever had. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chow this down right here. I think it's the best vanilla that we're probably gonna have today. What's your rating? I give that like a nine. nine. Only because I don't know what a ten is. Like I've never, I don't think this I've ever right. experienced a ten. But this could be a ten. I don't know. So what happened? I had the cookie, See, cookie butter crumble. Because that's retarded. So here's the deal. And then you end with so different than down. BJ's. The last place we went. You guys know I don't like ice cream a whole lot. Or this, I don't eat a lot. I gotta say that's a nine. I really don't know what you do to make it better. So I'm definitely giving that a nine, maybe a nine plus. It's solid. I think it's the best ice cream in America. That's a bone steak. I, I, I've never had better ice cream. All right, so we just finished up inside. All of us got some crazy ice cream you guys saw. I gotta say, like I mentioned, as a person who doesn't really love ice cream as much, this is pretty freaking good. But, a little special treat for you. John of Josh and John's Ice Cream has offered to give us a personal tour of what they call the Churn Barn. So we're gonna go check it out. It's in another part of Colorado Springs, but it's where they make all the ice cream that they serve to all five locations that they have in Colorado Springs and actually across the front range of Colorado. So a nice little inside behind the scenes tour for you coming up right now. Uh, but just, we call this the Churn Barn. And this is where all the ice cream is made. We make it here. Painting here, and if you come in a little closer, you can see we have some excellent bakers over there that are doing the cake work. So we make ice cream cakes and cookie sandwiches, and that all gets done here, and then it gets distributed to the stores throughout Colorado. Um, but yeah, so you can. This is our uh, signal. One of our signature flavors called Purple Mountain Majesty, yeah. which is a taro ice cream Everybody with knows. raspberry cups, and we can hardly keep it in stock. Yeah, everybody does. So, yeah. um, and that we make all of our ice cream in these machines. Uh, we we purchase them out of Florida, but we modify them so they actually uh, turn ice cream at a much slower rate than they're designed to be. These these go at 250 revolutions per minute. We slow them down to 30. And the purpose of that is to make it much thicker because there's no air. What's like the, the Reader's Digest, the backstory? How did you guys get into yeah. this business when you were just like, sure. man, I want to make some ice cream? So, so. I went to Colorado College and I uh, graduated in 1985. And I had a high school friend, Josh. Good so I can, yeah. Are you Josh? No. No. <laughs> no, but. You know, he's your partner, so he's a good guy. <laughs> um, but anyway, he and I, I, sight unseen, I told him what I wanted to do, he said, sure. So we opened up in 1986 in downtown Colorado Springs on Hyatt Street. And then things really started to pick up here probably in about 2011, 2012, yeah. when we started to open up new stores. And we used to make the ice cream in each store, but it got to be too much. Couldn't handle that, did it? Well, it's and it, we now make it. The ice cream that we make today is better than we did when we made it in the store. Okay. I'm here every day, and I have control over what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's, uh, we have professionals that are actually making the ice cream. Yeah. So, um, gotten a whole lot that are much more consistent and, uh, yeah. But they, so, this, this is our tub freezer. Um, and it's actually low right now because yeah yeah it's 25 to 30 below zero so it's called the flash freezer um, but this is the, where we store all the Dude, this is so cool. Nice change of paint piece from the heat out. Is everyone out? Yeah. Uh, pink pile still. You can lock him in. You can't get locked right there. Oh, lock me in. <laughs> so, okay, and then you guys also have 
I don't know if it's like partnerships or whatever, but with like a couple of other businesses that sell Josh and John's. That's correct. Like the cookie place downtown. Mary's, Mary's, Mountain. Mary's Mountain Cookies. Yeah. Yep. So they sell it, but we also, there's a partnership there because they they bake our cookies and our vegan yeah. cookies for us and we cool. make cookie sandwiches. We sell it at Pike's Peak Chocolate in Manitou Springs. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then we have a couple of big places in the mountains. So Salida has a place called Chill. Ooh, yeah. A hugely successful ice cream store and yeah. they sell exclusively our ice cream. And there's a place, a new place in Buena Vista called Chocolate that's selling ours as well. And that's another area that we've sort of expanded into on the way. What a red scoop bus. Yeah, so these are, this is a 1970s bus. Wow. Um, there's a freezer in there. Oh, that's and awesome. yeah, people oh. contact us and. Can I sit in it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a Bro, this needs to be the new bears for the bus. Yeah. Oh, it was huge steering wheels building these. You guys stick? Oh, is this me? No. Why ice cream? Uh, Coming well, out of school. like So, the... I'm originally from Boston. Okay. Go Sox. And go Sox. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And I um, and my family would go into Boston. I, was, I, I lived outside of Boston, but we would drive into Cambridge, actually. Okay. 40 minute drive to go to a place called Steve's Ice Cream, yeah. which was the, all the rage. Mm. And when we got there, we would wait in line for 40 minutes. And so when I went to CC, there was nothing like that here. And so I actually brought what I consider New England style ice cream to Colorado yeah. Springs. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't, it, I do enjoy, I mean, I love ice cream yeah. I, and I do enjoy it, but it was more about the opportunity to have a successful business than it was, yeah. uh, because I loved ice cream. It yeah. was an opportunity that I saw here. Yeah. And now it's turned out to be part of the community in, oh. I mean, we are, we are, here's an example. Uh, my brother-in-law was at an art show in Fort Collins and he came across an artist that um, had drawn the places that you should go see in Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. Let's see, there was the Broadmoor, there was Pikes Peak, uh, there was the Cog Railway, and there was Josh and John's. Yes. So it's become uh, an institution here. Yeah, it's and iconic very, here. Yeah. Sir. So. All right, so we are at Frozen Gold right now, which is right off of Tejon, located right next to Kawadi, uh, Denver Biscuit Company. It's actually owned by Atomic Cowboy, who owns Denver Biscuit Company, um, the pizza place, what is it, Fat Solis, um, and then Frozen Gold right here. So this is kind of a unique ice cream place, and then it's more like novelty. So they do soft serve ice cream on these huge, I mean, they. I've never seen somebody put as much soft serve ice cream as they do on these cones and then they roll them in kind of whatever your choice of toppings are. I've done it with Butterfinger, you can do Oreos. I've seen people, they have like a s'mores one um, and they can also like inject the ice cream with like a filling. So I've seen it with like hot fudge in the middle and you can do a bunch of other stuff. So it's really cool. You're not gonna see anything like this anywhere else in Colorado Springs. It's a very, very novel place here. So let's go try something. Okay. It's foods, man. Number one thing for nice to make foods, like man. Them. Okay, all right. Don't know this, Fred. Okay, so this is, it's called Camping Out, and it's chocolate ice cream. Um, you've got melt, like, toasted marshmallow around the side here. I think there's chocolate in the middle, like hot fudge or something. Okay. Yeah, like chocolate sauce, and then crumbled graham cracker and chocolate around the outside. This is much different than anything we've had this yet is, today. It's very novel. Like, I don't think there's really anything like this in Colorado Springs. This, okay, so this you did the honor. Okay, all right. So this has been very different. So I'm just kind of, I don't even know how to eat this really, but we're just gonna get in there. Okay. Oh yeah. So I got some cookie crumbles, some graham crackers, some marshmallow. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. Nice. You take that bite and you tell me what you think. Because I got some opinions about this. I like how we're holding hands while we hold this ice cream too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's cute. Hmm. It is. It's really rich. I don't understand what we're happening here. So it is. It's a. It's a lot. Yeah. That's what I will say. Yeah. It is. 
So, frozen. <laughs> the cone. I don't know what's happening. Can we just take a uh, get a shot of that right there? It's like yeah. cone paper. Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. Most people don't start eating ice cream from the bottom, but that's how we're, that's like how we're well, rolling man. today, yeah. Can you get that marshmallow? Yeah. No, that's fair. I'm just gonna try this marshmallow. I'm kinda of tired of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that marshmallow's really freaking good. Marshmallows are good, I'll give them that. Marshmallow's five. really good. All right, so this is just, it's drastically different than what else we've had today. Yeah. So BJ's straight up soft serve. Now this is soft serve, with a lot of stuff going on. So this is like, this is art. Um, yeah, it's something different, man. It's, if you want saucer with just a lot of creative stuff on it and a lot of different flavors, might be your jam. For me personally, a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. I kind of like just that consistent flavor, like you can get a Josh and John's, mm -hmm. or if you want soft serve, I'd probably go to BJ's, honestly. It's not bad, but there's a lot happening there. There's a lot going on. Okay, so. They said that the camp one was a little too rich, but this one is actually, it's pretty refreshing. Um, you can see it's got green key lime goose. I feel like we're on Nickelodeon and there's a slime. slime. But it's light. It's pretty interesting, like, especially when you grab the little marshmallow down there. It's actually a pretty good flavor. I like it, it's fun. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a lot going on, yeah. but I think frozen gold is like the spot for like, if you want something just wild and out of the box. Yeah, yeah. but they are, they're very rich. Do you know how like a cold stone, like you could just make anything you want. It can be as ridiculous as you, like it's already pre-made here. So you don't really have to like make as many decisions. You can just like pick something off the menu and like go as wild as you want. Like my favorite here, I actually like to customize it a bit, but I do like the uh, like Oreos, but I'll put like a caramel core in it. Mm. It's oh. so good, dude. So good. Interesting. You yeah. were saying this is like your favorite ice cream place, right? I mean, yeah, but honestly, after going to Josh and John's again, it, I think it's reverted back to Josh and John's. No, this stuff is really good, but you also kind of just have to be in the mood for like something wild. Okay, so here we've got, uh, this is Silly Rabbit, so it's basically, uh, it's literally vanilla with tricks. Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for ice cream. Tricks are not for ice cream. This we is have chocolate cookie crumble, yes. cookie dough. Oreo crumbs on there. We've got a lot of ice cream today. We're about to do, we're about to make serious mistakes here, but you know. Cheers to ice cream. To ice cream. Oh wow, the whole cold. This is happening. Dude, Chris got on that thing. <laughs> here. We'll get some more. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 This is the Colorado City Creamery. I don't know why that sign is there, but this place has been doing something since 1979, which is making freaking soft serve ice cream and dishing it out to the people. This place is a staple. So we're now down in old Colorado City, right on Colorado Avenue. I believe it's 2602 Colorado Avenue. And this place is just a local staple. You can see, and it's hard to miss. When you're driving down, everything's brick and, you know, really neutral tones. And you've got this big yellow building just screaming. We got good stuff. So this is super awesome. A cool thing, so they have like 32 flavors. So they're like before Baskin Robbins time, I think actually I don't know when Baskin Robbins was invented, but 
Uh, a cool thing about them, um, besides the fact that they have hot dogs too, is I believe that they're also who supplies the ice cream to the Broadmoor, which is cool. And if you don't know what the Broadmoor is, well, there's no help for you. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna get some more ice cream because we clearly haven't eaten enough today and uh, come back out here and let you know what is the what? best. I mean, probably, no, you probably have more ice cream because you got a double ring. <laughs> Can I sample the vanilla? Yeah. Let's try the country vanilla. That is good. Mm. Eat. Eat. <laughs> <Solid. laughs> Soon drop. You get cut. It comes as good as Josh and John's. Ooh, Ooh. Shots fired. <laughs> I feel like Josh and the guys are burnt a little bit. I feel like they're burnt. Okay, okay. About to have an ice cream war. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Run it up. Wind it up. Stick it in a cone. All right. Here we have their seasonal flavor. It's the best. It's wonderful. You're going to love it. Trust me. We've got brownie dough. I did say at the beginning of this that I was going to get lighter ice cream, but then everybody else got sherbet, which I do really wish that I had sherbet, if I'm being honest. But uh, in order to compare, I got to stay on brand and keep getting decadent, doughy, chocolate, murderous ice cream. Now, she said that their cones are better than Josh and John's. I am an evangelist for Josh and John's cones. So, we're gonna find out. I don't use a spoon, so let's get after it. Okay, first off, the ice cream is really good, actually. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, the ice cream is, Super creamy. It's it's like, you know when you eat chocolate ice cream and it's like so overwhelming that it's like it's too rich and you feel like you either need milk or water or you're gonna throw up. This is like the perfect amount of chocolatiness and like the little brownie dough in there. Actually, I'm super pleased by this. I don't uh, I don't feel bad about this at all. Sure, I got ice cream in my beard. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, the cone is good. Whoops, the cone is good. But I think what makes Josh and John's better is the cinnamon and nutmeg that's in it. Cause it just adds this extra level. This is very good, it's perfectly made. Um, I think there's taste a little bit better, but definitely if I was getting ice cream here again, I would still get the waffle cone. Like super not mad about the waffle cone choice. I just am partial to the, the cinnamony nutmeggy flavor over Josh and John's, but man, gotta hand it to him. Colorado City Creamery, there's a reason they've been here since 1979, and it's not because they have bad ice cream. It's because they got really good ice cream. So you got stuff, really good ice cream, and uh, it's in a great location. So if you're down here, definitely have to swing by here. What out of 10? Oh, hmm. Ooh. Out of 10, yeah, I'd, I would actually put this, now granted, I only have this one flavor, so I gotta try the Sherberts. But um, I'd put this at a solid like eight, eight point five out of ten. This is really good. Yeah, super happy about it. Okay, so this is our fourth stop today. So we thought we'd switch things up and get some sherbet, and we messed up. <laughs> Do it's not, not come to a creamery. Yeah, don't come to a creamery and get sherbet. Uh, usually that's like kind of my go-to, but I don't know. It tastes, I'm not gonna say it's bad, it's no. just, they're a creamery, so it's not what they do, but it tastes very like sugary fake flavored versus yeah. kind of more like fruity, natural, like sherbet-y yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. So for me, I yeah, I saw, I, I didn't even, Ooh. Ooh. out of 10, give it a five, cause it's yeah. cold. I'd say five, I'd say five. Yeah. Yeah. That's solid, that's a safe number. Yeah. I didn't I'd see say. the lime sherbet before I ordered it, I just saw the tag and I was like, that sounds good. He got uh, he got yeah, raspberry, yeah. and then I saw her scoop it, and it's like toxic waste green. Which I and I was like, oh, 
That's different. So it's different. I mean, it tastes like it tastes like something you get like when you're a little kid, like a little like snow cone. Yeah, yeah, like on the ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Is, yeah. yeah. So come here, so, get ice cream. Mm -hmm. Don't get sherbet. Yeah. yeah, Kyle was into the ice cream. He liked <laughs> yeah. It. All right. So here we are, final stop of the tour. Honestly, one of the most historic, probably the oldest one, I think, on our list today. We're here in Manitou Springs at Patsy's Candy. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. The place is popping. And Patsy's, originally very famous for its handcrafted, really yummy candies. I mean, old school stuff, butterscotches, stuff that you can't really find anywhere else. It was originally started here in Manitou in 1903. So it's 121 years old now, which is insane. But what a lot of people don't know is they have some homemade ice cream and some soft serve ice cream. So let's go try this historic place out. For a soft serve, but we have all of the homemade flavors as well. Okay. All right, so this is the mint chocolate chip from Patsy's. Now, I'm not a mint chocolate chip guy, but this is actually really good. Try this. It's actually really good. It's like not too sweet. It's not too minty. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's like the perfect. That's good. It's pretty good. It's not too much. After. It's nice and mild. Yeah. After that other place that we went to. Yeah, this is a nice switch up. Yeah, yeah. It's just classic mint chocolate chip. I mean, it's got. It's great, but it's like nothing. There's nothing like incredible going on here no but it's like solid it's solid yeah it's, it's solid. solid yeah like it's exactly solid. what you're looking for yeah you know i wouldn't drive across just town it's, for it necessarily it's but. just what you need nothing more nothing less yeah um what do you got the chocolate is um it's almost like a mousse did you try mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. it's it's extremely oh God, I got a smooth. little bit of mint on there it's a ooh, that's nice it's ooh. extremely smooth but um i mean it's honestly it's not my favorite chocolate flavor yeah per se it's very like subtle yeah you know? it's very subtle like i wouldn't want any more than this <laughs> we just kept it basic i mean i'd give it like a 6.6 .6. yeah like okay. it's like good it's solid yeah but solid. like i'm not like oh man i gotta go get their chocolate yeah yeah i, I do like the texture though yeah the texture is fantastic did what you, would you to... give the mint chocolate chip so i would say Honestly, this mint chocolate chip, I'd say, I want to say six and a half, but I'm going to go with a solid seven. We'll yeah, solid I, seven. I would agree. I was right in that six and a half to seven mm -hmm. range with that too. Like, again, it's definitely like a worthwhile place to yeah. go to if you're down here and it's hot like it has been. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not like the, all right, kids, we're driving across town to go get ice cream. Yeah, like for sure. And I mean, it's a great but spot to go. Manitou, then. Yeah, and Patsy's is a walk-up place. So like if you're at the arcade or if you're walking around in shops and you just want like a little little treat while you're hanging out in Manitou, Patsy's is a great place to go. They've also got a little candy shop next door with uh, homemade chocolate and taffy and stuff. And they've got, you know, uh, there was churros, there's, you know, burgers and different kinds of food back there. Their corn dogs look pretty good. So it's like a classic, like, you know, like fair, Fair food Which is such a weird thing about this area. Oh yeah. I think it's such a weird thing, but it's here and it just is what it is. Yeah. But the, the Manitou like main strip, it's like a fair. Yeah. It's kind of. it's very much a touristy strip. Every mm -hmm. other shop is like, I love Manitou yeah. shirts. Colorado merch. It's, like, it's just like super touristy. It's like nobody thought to put like a limit on how many of those shops we could have. Yeah. And then and then you have this like arcade area that like probably was super dope in the 70s and 80s. But now it's like this cute little mountain town that feels like a boardwalk. Mm, see, I would have to disagree with that. Really? I think the, like, okay, Manitou, like I don't come down here that much. But this is why I have had some really fun times at that arcade. They've got arcade games from like the 1920s over there. Now they're not like you know a penny like I'm sure they used to be, but it's pretty cool. Like I think actually Hannah and I came here like on one of our first dates and went to the arcade and it was a great time. So yeah, I and they've also I got that. funnel cake over there. So more on the fair kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, it's just weird. It just is a weird vibe to me. I'm not yeah. saying it's a bad place. It's just a weird vibe to me to be in a little mountain town and huh? and feel like. Yeah. Like a, like I'm on a boardwalk. Right. But yeah. It does have that feel. It's like a mountain boardwalk. 
We did it. <laughs> we, we freaking did it. did it. Five ice cream shops around Colorado Springs. So, um, quick recap of let's do let's just hit the top three Fair. which yeah. i think uh bj's was for sure yeah. everyone yeah. everyone in a good spot yep. super classic mm -hmm. um definitely like i am when i recover mm -hmm. i want to go back and get a big old nasty burger and yeah. this burger and, oh, shake. Yeah. and yeah, then ice cream, ice cream yeah. when i'm like mm -hmm. ready yeah. and uh and, and not like engorged yeah. from it yeah. what about number two so we got three and two. Oh, number two I would say it'd be Colorado City Creamery. I was about yeah. to say, yeah. My choice was not ideal over there, but as far as like just straight up ice cream goes, yeah, solid. Enough. Yeah, the yeah. one, the seasonal one that I had was really, really good. Was the cone there good? I didn't talk to the you cone. Was good. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would still get it in a waffle cone, but the waffle cone at the best ice cream shop in the world. Unanimous decision. Unanimous yeah. decision. Hands down. Josh and Josh. Josh, Josh we gotta Josh, give them. We gotta yeah, give yeah. it to him. But, um, that being said, like if you're in any of these areas, like yeah, just hit the little ice cream shops. Yeah. But Josh and John's, there's a reason that they're expanding the way yeah. that they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've got a good system. I think what was most interesting too, by the way, was that uh, he he figured out real quick that like we have to make ice cream in the same place yeah. or else it's going to be different at every place yeah. and you're going to lose quality and yeah. their ice cream's yeah. getting better because of it right yeah. the, the girl that i talked to she's been there for two and a half years the other guy had been there for four years like yeah. they've got a lot of longevity so they're treating people right like it seems like a good place to work yeah yeah and they're I think, making good ice cream. i think my favorite thing about josh and john's was just like the passion for the ice cream that you yeah. can feel Ooh, in that yeah, place definitely. like that guy's been involved deeply in that business since he founded it in 1985 and like yeah. really cares about the product so really cares about the community like loves it you yeah. know and and you can taste that in the ice cream yeah honestly. it's it's really incredible so um none of us want to eat any more ice cream probably for as long as we live i'm yeah, super tapped out you mean like a month but you know, it is a super popular question, but also, where's the best burger? Where are the best tacos? Where are the best margaritas? Hello. Yeah. And uh, and best brewery tour. So we've already done the brewery tour. So if you yeah. haven't seen that yes. and you want to know where the best breweries are, um, absolutely check out our channel or that, that video. Yeah, video. Check yeah. out that video. And then upcoming, we're going to have the burger tour. We still got the tacos. We still got the Margie Margs. Coffee when the weather cools Coffee off. Coffee when yeah. the weather cools Oh, yeah. So we still got a lot in store. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Work hard, be kind, let's go.